Good morning YouTube, welcome back to another driving and the news video for today November 14th 2023 as we kick off the holiday season for this year. Wanted to thank everybody for joining me as I continue my mission to record history for future generations. If this is your first time on my channel and this is the first video you are seeing, I have several playlists on the channel. One is Driving in the News, which is this one. Another one is Pride in Patterson, where we show a lot of Patterson content. Another playlist is Fred Drives, where I drive the highways and byways of northern New Jersey and show you the videos. As we stop here on a red light, it's gonna get very glary here in a moment. And I do understand that these videos, this type of video here, driving in the news, is not the most popular video on my channel, but I feel it's necessary to put these here because it's one way to document local history here in the metropolitan, in the New York metropolitan area for future generations. So I'm gonna wait here for this light to turn green as I am stopped here on 20th Ave and Market Street. I'm gonna make a left-hand turn right into the sun and it's gonna get very glary. And we're gonna start you off with the 7.30 headlines here listening to 1010 winds and the glare has commenced and let's get you started with the news it might start on a commercial let's see places on thursday the chains unionized baristas plan to hold their biggest strike yet accusing the coffee giant refusing to fairly negotiate the one-day walkout involving thousands of employees at hundreds of locations is pegged to the company's red cup day when starbucks gives out holiday themed reusable cups now after a mixed effort yesterday on wall street ahead of the uh, cost of living s p futures higher two points nasdaq up 30 dow gaining one bloomberg money watch at 26 and 56 past every hour I'm Steve Potus for 1010 Wins on 92.3 FM. The Center's plan for healthy living is a Medicare Advantage plan that offers additional benefits not included with traditional Medicare. CPHL has several Medicare plans, some with no premium or deductible, and some include a debit card of up to $290 a month for OTC, groceries, and utilities if you qualify. Call them at 877-CPHL-123. That's 877-CPHL-123. Center's plan for healthy living LLC is an HMO with Medicare and Medicaid contracts. Enrollment in Center's plan for healthy living depends on contract renewal. Blue Chair Bay Ron presents Kenny Chesney, Zach Brown Band, and a little bit of chicken. Sun Goes Down 2024 Tour with Megan Maroney. August 17th, Midlife Stadium. On sale this Friday, 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. Produced by the Cena Touring Group and AEG Prisons. All right. Here's today's tax tip with Catherine Sable, state and local tax partner at Citroen Cooperman. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and tight labor market, many companies have started to hire remote employees. While this hiring strategy appears to have a positive impact on both the employee and employer, having a remote workforce has created... A we have a few minutes before I have to actually go into work, so I'm going to give you a few extra footage, some extra footage. Including payroll, sales, and income taxes, to name a few. Companies that do not comply can expose the company and its owners to substantial... As you can see, the colors are coming in, the fall colors. ...can help your business navigate the impact of having a remote workforce and make the decision that helps them focus on what counts. Today's tax tip was brought to you by Citroen Cooperman. Visit CitroenCooperman.com. That's C-I-T-R-I-N Cooperman.com. They focus on what counts by providing critical industry insights and professional services to clients for over 40 years. With all you have going on, don't let your health insurance slip through the cracks. Renewal rules have changed. To get started, visit... We're in the semi-industrial area here in Patterson. 355 5777. It'll be mostly sunny this afternoon with a gusty, chilly breeze. The high 52, 45 now in Central Park. I'm Susan Richard, Winds News Time 730. 
I'm Scott Stanford. Mayor Adams at a Manhattan helipad yesterday talking about electric aircraft, watching a demonstration from an air taxi company. Wasn't in the mood to talk about the FBI investigation, which prompted FBI agents to confiscate his phones. He did respond to one question on his ability to focus on the city's business without being distracted by legal problems. If you're the mayor of the city of New York, something is going, always going on. 8.3 million people, 35 million opinions, and you know, this is just the excitement of being in New York. You know, something is always going to be going on in the city, and you have to be focused. Uh, no distractions and grind, and that's what this administration is about. Straight ahead. Straight ahead it is. Winds news time, 731. Traffic and transit on the ones. We get you back out to the roads for Karen Stewart. We're actually going to start with the rails this time because we've heard from NJT and rail service into and out of Penn Station is subject to 30 minute delays following an earlier Amtrak switching issue near Penn Station, New York. So we're dealing with 30 minute delays on any NJ transit train that goes in and out of Penn. Uh, keep it locked to 1010 winds. Traffic and transit every 10 minutes on the ones, and we will keep you posted. Then on the ENFs both ways, and the MTA pulled out a rarely used word here significant delays because of police activity at Kew Gardens Union Turnpike. There are options here. The 7, the J, the N, the R's, even the W's for service between Queens and Manhattan uh, will do this. We could see problems on the ENF for quite some time to come. And Amtrak service on the Empire Line continues to be suspended between New York and Croton Harmon until further notice. Use Metro North. They are cross-honoring your Amtrak fares. Long Islanders. Eastbound on the Southern State. It exit 41 for the Sagge Coast. We've got an accident We've got the left lane and the shoulder closed. And the eastbound side of the northern state, at exit 34 for Brush Hollow Road, has a disabled vehicle, and that's over on the shoulder as well. We are sponsored by the Barnes Firm Traffic Tip Line, which is 844-JAM-1010. Traffic and transit every 10 minutes around the clock and breaking traffic alerts whenever they happen. I'm Karen Stewart, 1010 Winds on 92.3 FM. I'm attorney Rich Barnes. If you've been in a car crash, choosing the right firm is crucial to get the help you need and the best result possible. Well, let's get a check of the AccuWeather four-day forecast. Meteorologist Dean DeVore. Dean, what we got cooking for today, my friend? A, a little bit, you know, it's cold out the door this morning, but then uh, it'll be just uh, chilly and breezy, but lots of sunshine. I mean, it's a uh, looking day. It just may not feel so good, especially in the shade. Those real fields will lag in the 30s and 40s. The temperature getting up to about 52. The wind eases tonight, and it drops into the upper 30s in the city, 20s in some suburbs, and then back up into the chilly low 50s again tomorrow with lots of sun but less wind than today. Now, the milder temperatures push in for a couple of days, Scott, Thursday into Friday. Highs will be in the low 60s. We'll see clouds increase Friday. At least some showers Friday night into early Saturday. We're hoping that's about the extent of the precipitation for the weekend. There's a coastal system that we're going to have to watch coming up along the eastern seaboard that will be close but may just miss us off to the east and head up into New England. Keep it locked to 10 10 winds on the weekend forecast as we go over the next couple of days but enjoy the next few here temperatures chilly this morning 45 degrees under clear skies we're going up to 52 with the sun and a gusty wind this afternoon i'm accu with the meteorologist dean devore on new york's weather station 1010 winds on 92.3 fm exergen thermometers are a top choice of medical professionals at highly ranked hospitals across the u.s accuracy matters so make exergen the chosen thermometer for your home and family winds news time 734 after fire marshals confirmed it was a lithium-ion battery that triggered a deadly blaze inside a Brooklyn home on Sunday that killed three people. The FDNY is taking its fight to the e-commerce platforms, and they want more accountability. Fire Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh is taking her aim at online retailers that might be selling unregistered batteries. She named Walmart and Amazon and food delivery apps that employ people who use the batteries. These illegal, uncertified devices are ticking time bombs. We cannot and we will not stand by while industry does nothing to stem a problem that lies squarely at their feet and that they can do something about today. Her plea is simple, to stop selling devices that are not safety certified by a national testing laboratory. And she wants the food delivery apps to do more to keep their workers safe. We anxiously await to hear from the delivery apps and the online retailers who we have reached out to and not heard back from. Mac Rosenberg, 1010 wins on 92.3 FM in Crown Heights. And Grubhub did respond. They say we've always tried to create a safer, more sustainable environment in New York City. While DoorDash wrote, we've worked closely with the FDNY Commission on efforts to improve awareness 
of safe charging practices. The King is in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Ranger fans, you know what I'm talking about. Rangers legendary goalie Henrik Lundqvist goes into the class of 2023. Growing up, I always had big dreams. My dad told me, my brother, my sister, at an early age, dream big. I said, it will inspire you to work hard, and I'll never forget that. But to be honest, I never saw this. You know, to get an opportunity to play my entire NHL career for an original six, to create amazing memories as a Ranger for 15 years. Hank, the winningest goaltender in Rangers history, had a stretch of 13 consecutive winning seasons. He goes into the Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility. Big night tonight in Harlem, 30th anniversary celebration of the Harlem Holiday Lights. It's New York City's only parade of lights. The event's free for everyone. You're going to get a brief ceremony, a little confetti countdown to start the parade. Barbara Askins is the president and CEO of the 125th Street Business Improvement District. She says this is a fantastic integrated experience. We have the only lighted parades in New York City uh, filled with community people that are showcasing the best of who, what they are. We have community activations on the street. Celebration kicks off at 6 p.m. at 568 West 125th Street. Oh, yeah. Well, the Beatles doing something this week that they haven't done since 1996. Can you tell me what it is? If you can't, I'll tell you what it is. 1010 Wins Entertainment's coming up next. Happy 62nd birthday, Granddad. Thanks, sweetheart. I got you this. A mug. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on today's Driving in the News. Listen to a little snippet of today's local news and some national news as that car just cut in front of that other car. All right, guys, be careful out here. If you're a driver, be careful, be courteous, be kind. We'll see you on the next Driving in the News.